from the last quiz we discussed two sets of accounting entries both when a separate set of books for joint venture is not kept so let us see one was where all transactions are recorded and where only own transaction is recorded in case of only own transaction we would also have to prepare a memorandum joint venture account to ascertain profit or loss and here we don't need to do that what are the accounts involved when we record here we have a joint venture account and we have the co-venturers account co-venturers account that is akash will have bikash's account in his books a quick understanding of the transactions before we even look at the accounting entries just look at the logic supply of goods from own stock this means this is goods being supplied to the joint venture logically joint venture would be debited purchase of goods or expense paid if you purchase goods for the joint venture expense is paid again joint venture should be debited purchase of goods or expense which is paid by bikash we are talking in the books of akash in that case also here joint venture would be debited if goods are sold then it is joint venture credited then it is joint venture credited and if goods are sold by the co-venturer also since it's a sale joint venture would be credited if materials and asset is withdrawn from the business it is treated similar to a sale only it is taken over by one of the co-venturers its sale its income and it is credited to joint venture if it is whether withdrawn by akash or bikash joint venture account would be credited profit on joint venture if there is a profit on joint venture it would mean that the credit balance is more and therefore we close the account by debiting the joint venture account and payment to co venturer does not involve the joint venture it would be it would involve co venturer and bank's account this is just just a logic let us just look at the total accounting entries relating to each and every transaction when all transactions are recorded and a separate set of books is not maintained by the for the joint venture a separate set of books is not maintained for the joint venture supply of goods from own stock joint venture account debit to purchase assuming that the materials that are purchased are in our purchases account when we take materials out for some other purpose in this case for the purpose of joint venture for using it in the joint venture joint venture account debit to purchases if we purchase goods spend money buy goods or for expenses paid any money paid buying an asset buying an expense buying materials for the joint venture joint venture account is debited and bank account is credited if the same thing is done by the other person that is it is done by bikash what will akash do akash will again debit joint venture and will credit bikash's account credit the joint venture's account when goods are sold we said the joint venture account would be credited joint venture account would be credited so what is debited if money is received its bank account if it is a credit sale then the particular person debtor account is debited so when goods are sold by akash akash's bank account debit to joint venture but if the goods are sold by bikash then also he credits joint venture but says bikash's account debit to joint venture so all incomes joint venture credit all expenses joint venture next if materials or assets are withdrawn from the business by akash himself he has asset account debit if he is going to use this material to sell in his own business then he calls it purchase purchase or asset account debit to joint venture and if similarly the same is withdrawn by bikash 
Then what does Akash do? Akash says Vikash's account debit to joint venture. So joint venture is credited in account of sale and also in account of goods being taken over by the co-venturers. For profit on joint venture, joint venture account debit to profit and loss account to co-venturers account. Profit and loss, Akash share of profit, co-venturers account with Vikash's share of profit. The balance now in the co-venturers account, the balance in Vikash's account would be the amount which is payable to Vikash or to be received from Vikash. Payment to co-venturer, co-venturer account debit to bank or received from co-venturer bank account to co-venturer. It's a very simple logical scheme of entries where all transactions are recorded by the co-venturers and no separate set of books is maintained for the joint venture. Next is where a memorandum joint venture is prepared. Why is a memorandum joint venture account prepared? In order to ascertain the profit or loss on joint venture. So all expenses are put on the left side and all incomes on the right side. Balance is either profit or loss. But accounting entries, as far as accounting entries are concerned, Akash will record only Akash's part of the transaction. If Akash spends money, if Akash receives money, if Akash earns a profit, if Akash incurs a loss. But Akash does not pass any entry with respect to the transactions which are entered into by Vikash. So what would be the entries? For the same things, if we take the entries, supply of goods from own store, what would be the entry in the books of books of Akash? Since Akash has supplied the goods, Akash would say joint venture with co-venture account debit to purchase account. To purchase account. Joint venture with co-venturer account. This account is not a joint venture account. It is not a nominal account. It is a personal account. It is a personal account. Whereas this joint venture account is a nominal account. Similarly, if goods are purchased, expense is paid. Whatever expenses, whatever payment is made by whatever contribution is made by Akash, Akash debits joint venture with Bikash account because basically this amount has to be collected from the joint venture. So joint venture with co-venture account debit to bank. When expenses are paid by the co-venturer, Akash does not pass any entry. When Bikash has to incur expenses, Akash does not pass any entry in his books. If goods are sold by Akash, bank account debit to joint venture with co-venturer, to joint venture with co-venturer because he has received the money, Akash has received the money and this has to be handed over to the joint venture, a portion of it has to be handed over to Bikash. But if Bikash receives the sale proceeds, then Akash does not pass any entry in his books. Similarly, if materials and assets are withdrawn from the business, it's an asset account or a purchase account debit to joint venture with Bikash account. But if Bikash withdraws, again, there is no entry. Profit on joint venture. How do you know the profit on joint venture? By preparing the memorandum joint venture account. From the memorandum joint venture account, if we know what is the profit, then what is the entry? Joint venture with co-venturer account debit to profit and loss account. But if it is a loss, then Akash will debit his profit and loss account and credit the joint venture with co-venturer account. The balance in the co-venturer's account, a joint venture with co-venturer's account will represent the amount to be received or paid to the co-venturer. Joint venture with co-venturer account debit to bank.